Hi everyone, in this video series I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite Gundam moments. Now please bear in mind this is all quite subjective because it's only based on my personal opinion. Whether you agree or not then I'd still love to hear from you so if you leave me a comment and perhaps let me know what your favourite scenes are then who knows I might base it on the next video. So, if you haven't noticed already, then this is a Gundam Evolve series. It's not really a main OVA or cartoon animated series. It's, uh, I think it was originally released as um, a five-part series back in 2001 to 2003. Uh, as you can see here, this one's 2003, October 20th. And I think there's 15 parts in total. Now, back in 2003, even by those standards, the graphics aren't amazing. It's all done in 3D, by the way. Um, but the animation itself and the actual story, concept, you know, all of that is really, really good, as I'm sure you'll agree when you actually see what's going on here. Um, this series is all about the Dendrobium, this episode rather, the RX-78 GP-03 which is uh, from the Stardust 0083 TV series. So this is the GP-03 as you see here. Uh, it's uh, the Stamen unit and, well, it's doing its thing, uh, battling some Galgoogs here. And, uh, well, I could have picked a lot of scenes to show off the uh, Dendrobium, actually. Um, there's, there's obviously the original uh, 0083 Stardust memory series. Um, there's the, uh, what's that new series, the Gunpla Builder series, where it makes a bit of a cameo appearance, but uh, this is by far my favourite scene of the Dendrobium. So I'll just shut up for a little bit and uh, just let you watch uh, what's going on. And this is the Dendrobium unit making its appearance. Those of you newer to the series, by the way, you may recognise something similar to this um, with um, Gundam Seed. They had those Meteor units, and uh, Gundam Double O also had those, um, what were they called, the GN Arm units, I think they were. Oh, and by the way, uh, for those of you who play some of the Gundam games and wonder why the GPO3 has twin bazookas, well, I think this answers your question right here. Alright then, so this is um, one of the first reasons as to why this Dendrobium unit kicks ass um, before Gundam Wing and before the uh, Heavy Arms with its multiple uh, you know, missiles than there was uh, the Dendrobium and uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree that it, it really does kick ass in the missile department. Now what you see right here with the arm, uh, what you might not know is the whole concept with those um, with those uh, claws is that um, it, it's got this shield which you'll see coming up now, an eye field, there it is and what it's meant to, what those are meant for, actually, I was reading about it, um, is that if anything actually makes it and penetrates through to that shield, then those arms are meant for like a last line of defense to, uh, you know, basically just grab anything that actually manages to make it through to the shield. So I thought that concept was quite interesting. And you'll see here that um, obviously it's just a, a crazy array of explosions. So, you know, uh, the Strike Freedom has its beam spam and uh, the Dendrobium has its missile spam. So, what can I say? Um, that to me is one of my favourite Gundam scenes, and uh, I hope you agree. Um, let me know in the comments once again. Um, you know, if you have a favourite scene, if you uh, agree with this or not, then it's all good. Just let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and by the way, I'll be following this um, video up with a uh, a related um, video um, in just talking about the actual model kits that you can get. So, uh, see you soon.